America's hometown Thanksgiving parade in Plymouth is ranked the number one Thanksgiving parade in the nation by AOL. The work begins very early on and involves many people from Plymouth and the surrounding communities. PCN stopped into the float barn early in November to see a little of what goes into the making of this incredible event. You know, obviously you can tell even here with all the people behind me, I think one of the, the most important thing about this event is that, you know, 99% of this gets done by volunteer help, which is kind of really, really cool. And we have people from all walks of life that do all kinds of diff different things who are now volunteering to put these things together. And, you know, it takes all year and people work, you know, you know, throughout the year, different facets of it. But right now, in the last two weeks, you're seeing everything that's going on. Uh, there's a lot things going on behind the scenes and uh, we have people that were engineers people that were carpenters people that you know were accountants but they're all here now you know creating and putting these floats together and no one knows these people and they're just uh, the normal people we have people that just moved in from New York uh, recently here are here volunteering they love it they love being a part of the community getting to know the community and we have people that have been here all their lives that are here helping so it's a that's basically what we do here at the float pond and it's just an exciting thing and uh, and even as I'm sharing this with you I'm inviting people because there's more years to come we're looking forward to the years in the future as we grow and we continue to become better at what we do here we need more and more volunteers. So if you're watching this, we'd, I'd love for more people to volunteer and to be a part of this wonderful thing for the community. So we designed the floats that they kind of pop out of my head during the year and you know while I'm sleeping at night and then we make them into reality. It's so great you know uh, the Sheehan family lets us to use this place to build them and get them all ready and uh, it's a wonderful thing to be able to do this and it's a good thing for the community. I think that it's become such a tradition here in Plymouth now to come and see the Thanksgiving uh, uh, parade and to be a part of it in some capacity, in some way. Uh, besides the music and all the other different things that are fun, uh, the float, I think, is really the mainstay. I think most people always want to see what's new, what's exciting, what do they build this year, how do, what's it going to look like. And we love to see the faces of people. And uh, we're hoping that we'll have, for the first time, pilgrims and actual Wampanoags, Native Americans on that float, depicting their very first actual feast, which is a grand, grand thing. Uh, the Plymouth to Plymouth float, which is the two lighthouses which represent the lighthouse here in Plymouth and the lighthouse in Plymouth, UK. In, uh, in, in England and we're going to have students come here from the United Kingdom from Plymouth that will be here with our students and they'll be marching and being with that float you know depicting the whole the history between the two you know towns and why it makes such a difference where they may fly left from and and ended up here in Plymouth Mass so I just think those are all wonderful things and of course the, the float that you're seeing behind me being taken apart that was the Boston Strong float last year will become the new theme float for us which is called History Comes Alive. It's almost good that you're seeing it now because you'll see it transform two weeks from now to what it's going to become. You know, telling the, the, the history and why history is so important because that is our event. We tell America's history in every way. We try to bring the life and really we want people to think when they come to Plymouth that the streets, you know, literally people just jump out of the history books and onto the sidewalks and make it alive for them, make it real for them. And the, for young kids and families, it's a great educational thing yet a fun thing at the same time. And to being with your family through the Thanksgiving holidays, all those things are really what we value and we think is really, really important. That's why we do what we do. So each float will have different people, different things on it, and they all have varied stories. So we want people to, to come and enjoy and, and see all that it is, you know, the day of the parade. 